Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am for my April Currently Inked. And here are the inks that I will be using for the month of April. I know this is a little late, but I've been on vacation and I just got back Friday. I'm filming this on Saturday and this is being posted on Sunday. So I'm a little and still jet lagged, but I will show you guys what I've inked up for the month of April. But before I get into that, I'm gonna show you guys my little March progress report. When I say progress report, I don't mean what I thought of my March inks. I, you know what, let me just show you. Let's get started. Before I go any further, this notebook that I'm using is from Galen Leather and it's their B6 Leather Notebook with Tomoe River paper. So for the month of March, I had purchased three pens. The first being the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Monyo Nuts, and then the Bennu uh, Talisman Dream Bean and the Venus Hair. And then two pens were gifted to me, the Laban Taroko Pinnacle from Pen Heaven and my Esterbrook Esty in Nouveau Blue. And then there were three pens that I received. It was the Laban Taroko Pinnacle, the Esterbrook Esty Nouveau Blue, and my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Monyo Nuts. And then I also sold two pens this month, my Bennu Euphoria, as well as my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Dragon Palace. Now for the inks, and one ink bottle was purchased and that came with my Sailor Monyo Nuts and that was the Sailor Monyo Shirakashi. Five ink samples were gifted to me from Katie and I'm looking here to see what they were. And there were three from Birmingham Pen Company. It was Pitted Nickel, Arugula, and Solar Storm. And then there was Andorillium, Galanul Purple, Ink Institute Moonshine, and then she gave me some more Pilot Oroshizuku Murasaki Shihibu. And then there were 13 ink samples that I had gifted or given away, and I'm just gonna list them all here. But when I have an ink sample and I've swatched it and I've used it once, or I find that I really don't want to use it, I'm happy to give it away. I don't feel any guilt in not using an ink sample. And then I realize once I write these all out, it's actually not 13 samples, it's 12. So the totals for the month, I have 25 pens with one custom on the way, and then I currently have 56 ink samples and 41 bottles. So there's my little progress update for the month of March. I like to keep track of what I've acquired, what I've sold or given away. So it gives me a better idea of my overall habits and behaviors throughout the year. And ever since I did the eight pen questions, I felt really good about giving away ink even if I haven't used it as long as I've swatched it and shown it on my channel for those purposes of showing it I feel good that I've at least done that with the ink so I feel good about the inks going to a different home so I was looking at the totals as well in the month of February I ended with 39 and then in the month of March I somehow have 41 so I might have miscounted in February oh well all right so let's get to the pens and inks the first pen in my currently inked is my Le Bon 325 in the Cambridge color and I just think this pen is absolutely beautiful and so so classic looking and the ink that I have in here is Sailor Shikiori Harahara and I bought this as a sample from Goulet Pens back in March and I fell in love with the ink it is so wet and juicy like look at that and this Le Bon 325 actually came with a, a broad nib but I ended up having it ground down to a medium stub and I absolutely love the way that it writes Look at this beautiful purple. And it's got such amazing shading and undertones in it. I love it. And so far, the ink flow in here has been wonderful. Have you tried any of the new Shikiori inks? Let me know down below, but I absolutely Love that. So that is my Le Bon 325 Cambridge with a medium stub with Sailor Shikiori Harahara. The next pen that I have is my 
Laban Taroko. So this one is my newest Laban pen and I got this gifted to me from Pen Heaven in the UK and this is the pinnacle model and I'll put a link in the corner for you guys to see the video on this one but I have this one in a fine nib and the difference with this one and the Cambridge or the Le Bon 325 is that this one has a Bach nib so this is the Le Bon Taroko. pinnacle with a fine nib and it has Le Bon Aphrodite. I was going to put a brown ink in it but I wanted a dusty pink because why not? And I love this ink. It kind of comes off red, more red than a dusty pink when it first goes down, but then it dries this beautiful color. So that is my Laban Taroko Pinnacle with a fine nib. The next pen in the Currently Ink lineup is my newest pen, and I actually just showed this off yesterday. This is the Banu Talisman in Venus hair. I just, I can't stop staring at that sparkle. And I ended up re-inking this actually. I removed the ink that was in here yesterday and I put in a different ink all together. And already I can tell the difference in the way that it writes. Can you guys guess what ink this is? Oh, it already writes so much better than when it had the ink from yesterday. So this is the Banu Talisman. Ooh, cannot write Venus hair. And it has a fine Schmidt nib and it is currently inked with Pilot Iroshizuku in a hoe. I was originally going to put Robert Oster Gold Antica in here, which is a good ink as well, but I thought let's try it out with a pilot ink. And if it had issues with the pilot ink, then you know, you, then you know it's the pen rather than the ink itself. But so far, the issues I was having yesterday with flow and things like that aren't happening here with this. Uh, in a hoe. So that is my Banu Talisman Venus hair with Pilot Oroshizuku in a hoe. The next pen in my lineup is my one of my newest pens as well. It is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Monyo Nuts. And this was a birthday present to myself actually. My husband also contributed to the contributed to this pen for my birthday and this was a pen that almost, I guess, eluded me. When this originally came out, I kept telling myself, you know, I, I don't really need it. Uh, and then it sold out and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I went all the way to the point of saying to myself, no, you don't actually like that pen because of this and this and this. And I was trying to find reasons not to like it. And then every time I saw it on somebody's channel or on somebody's feed, it was that little feeling of disappointment that I felt seeing it and not having it, that I realized that I really did want this pen. And when it came back in stock in March, it was an easy decision. So this has a medium fine 14 karat gold nib and it is currently inked with the ink that came with it. So Sailor Manyo Shirakashi. And I love that ink. I'm gonna show you a quick sample of it because it just, 
this is on Rhodia paper, but just look at the complexity and it's such a great writer so far. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks here while I've been on vacation and I love it. Now this nib did prove a little, not to my preference at the beginning, but I have been writing with it for the last couple of weeks and I do really enjoy it now. So that is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Monyo Nuts. The next pen I have is my Pelican M605 in the green and white stripes. And this one, I will show you here, has a fine cursive italic nib that was ground by Dan at the Nibsmith. And it is, I think it was, yes, this was my first official um, pen that I had ground, or the nib that I had ground down for me. And since then, I've had a few pens that I've had Nibsmiths do some work for me. And I do not at all regret getting Nibsmiths to work on my nibs. If you ever get a chance to go to a pen show, I highly recommend visiting a Nibsmith if you have pens that you want ground down uh, into a, or nibs ground down to a specific, uh, what is the word? Ground down specifically to a specific shape, then, you know, they can certainly help you with that. And I thankfully have found somebody who lives not too far from me. Fine. Cursive smooth italic. And I've had him do a few of my uh, pens for me. So the ink here is Monarca Nepal. And this one I definitely went matchy matchy on. But look at the line variation in here. Gorgeous. Now with this month's pens, I didn't fill these completely. I think like even on, uh, for example, the Laban no, not the Laban, the Benu Talisman. I only filled that converter halfway. Learning from Sarah of Ginger Peachy Stationery, not to fill my pens all the way, uh, just so that I can actually use them up. All right, so that is my Pelican M605 in the green white stripes with Monarca Nepal. And then we have here my Twisby Diamond 580 in the Smoke Rose Gold. This is the only Twisby that I own, and this has a fine nib that I had ground down into a stub. Originally, this nib was scratchy. I did not like it, and I had originally sent it off to Mark Bacchus to just get it smoothed and tuned, but then I decided why not get it in a stub. I do like my stubs. Oh, you can see how wet and juicy that is. Beautiful. So this is my Twisby Diamond 580. 80 with a fine stub. And this has Ferris Wheel Press, Dusk in Bloom. I really like this type of blue. It's a little bit like storied blue, which I really, really liked and used all of. Oh, that's so pretty. I am excited to be using that one. So that is my Twisby Diamond 580 with Ferris Wheel Press Dusk and Blue. The last pen that I have inked here is my Esterbrook Esty, and I love this pen. This is the pen that I'm actually using for the month of April. We're in April, right? For the month of, <gasps> did I just say March currently inked? Oh my gosh, I've been going through this whole thing and I said March currently inked. I'm gonna change that in a second. Um, but yes, I've been using this in my a six five year journal for the month of April. Okay, 
aside here. That's going to bug me. I'm going to change that as soon as I'm done this. So anyway, I absolutely love the Estabrook SD and I had this on my wish list for so long, but I never hit checkout. I just, I don't know what it was, but I just never pulled the trigger for the longest time. I just thought, uh, they're, I don't know what the hype is with the Estabrook SD. It's just an expensive pen with the Yogo nib. Like what is the big deal? And then I won the giveaway from Estabrook. And as soon as I held it in my hand and as soon as I started writing with it, I saw the hype. This is the fine nib. And this is inked with Pilot, Hiroshizuku. I believe it is, let me look at my ink samples, Asagao. Such a great combination. And I don't normally go for like the blues like this, but it just matches this pen perfectly. And the way that this pen feels in my hand is just, it feels perfect in my hand, perfectly weighted. All right, so that is my Estabrook Esty Nouveau Blue with Pilot Hiroshizuku Asagao. So just taking this little post-it and placing it on top because I am insane. There we go. So that is all fixed. So there are my inks and pens for the month of April. Yes, confirming we are in April. And I really like this combination of pens and inks so far. I'm really excited to be using all of them. What are you guys inking up for the month of April? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really enjoy filming this fountain pen content. I have just fun filming it, filming it in different ways and trying different ways of editing. But also I love the feedback that I get from you guys and the conversations that we have down in the comments below. And once again, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe. And once again, have a great, great day.